All right, today we're gonna replace the seal for the transfer case on a 2015 Traverse. Um, I can't say it, but I misquoted this job and didn't think about the fact that it's an internal seal, not an external seal. So you have to take the transfer case out and split it. And we're gonna go through the process of removing the transfer case, replacing that seal, and getting it reinstalled. We're gonna take off this plate under here. We gotta get the exhaust out of the way. So there's 15 millimeter bolts, so we'll take those out. New brushless snap-on, three its impact. Loud. Fall over. Go get out the earthquake. Probably kill myself in the process. Alright. I actually probably should go and disconnect this oxygen sensor. Way up yonder here. Out of the way, we'll route it on the other side of the bracket that holds the converter to the engine, like that. The other three didn't break with an impact. I'm hoping that my ratchet will work for this one. Very nice, very nice. Get my electric ratchet now because I'm lazy. I've never, never had one of these transfer cases apart, so this could be a new one for me. I can build a transmission. Pretty sure I can do a transfer case. Sketchy sounds, but cool. Honestly, honestly, I figured these would break. They always do. Usually break, then you heat, heat this up, dry them out with an air hammer, and then put, put a nut and bolt through it.
One nut. Two nuts, and all we got left before we drop the exhaust is one more oxygen sensor. You can see it right through here. And it's gonna be the same style as the uh, one up front. So he's got to pull this gray release tab. Let's get under it. There we go. Just like that. And now, the exhaust is out. I guess I can go ahead and take off the drive shaft. It's held in with eight millimeter bolts. Something here to get her out. get a hammer and we'll have to tap on it to get it to release from the transfer case. Let her, let her hang out like that. Insert your own inappropriate jokes. All right. Now, we need to go ahead and separate this ball joint. I've seen a couple other videos where they have you taking the strut off and the brakes and doing all that and taking the axle completely out. We can actually just separate this ball joint get the axle separated and we'll just shove the axle over by the motor just to get it out of the way. That's a 21 millimeter. Um, I love my 21 at work. So I have a 7 8 which is 22. Not the greatest option, but it will work in a pinch. But I'd recommend getting the 21. Because I have a feeling I'm going to end up busting my fingers with this wrench. So the Cornwall people messaged me. They're at their tool fair and they got a deal on a 134A AC machine and the new 1234YF stuff. Two machines for it's like four grand off of what they do retail. <coughs> so I think I might have them get, might have them pull the trigger on it. Because they're like. Apparently the pricing is finalized tomorrow and they have to have any orders in. Oh, come on. Don't want to smash a finger. Now, if you're doing this on the ground, if that stud starts spinning, just put a jack under here and just put a little bit of pressure and it'll keep it from spinning on you so you can get this nut off. So far, this one is being nice. Feels bad because I uh, forgot the correct wrench.
All right, so now that's loose, spin it back on a little bit, especially if yours hasn't popped yet. And then we'll grab. Grab yourself a big old chisel, and you don't want to hit the bearing, but put it between your axle and the nut for the ball joint. Pops them. Minimal effort, which is my style. So now, Then now we can go ahead and pop the axle from pop the axle from back here. Once the axle's off, we'll just swing it over here out of the way. Since yeah, it'll work. I've done this before. Watch this time; it won't work. It'll prove me wrong. And then if you're prying like that, be careful of the uh, oil level sensor. that. Now we have enough room because we had to get this motor mount out of the way. So we'll end up putting a uh, T-stand where you can use jack and block of wood on the motor. Take the nut off there, take the nut off there, we'll push the motor up so we can get that mount out. This one's 18 millimeter. Then the top one we we'll have to use a wrench at the 15 millimeter. socket on here. Yeah, let's try to get a short socket on there at least for a little bit of it. Do -do -do. Now you've got your printer retraction. Do what? You've got the printer retraction. You said you're going to go wrench and now you're using a socket. I lie all the time. These people that watch these videos actually think I know what I'm doing. I'm just dumb. I just get lucky a lot. Until that. All right, well, until I get for open my mouth. If you're using electric ratchet, don't try to take it all the way off with it. It'll get stuck. You knew I recorded all that, didn't you? Yeah, like I said, edit. edit. Awesome. Oh, I'm leave some of this shit in here. Dude, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. I found it's easier for me to teach people shit if I just talk like I'm dumb. Because I don't know anything because I'm already like dumb. I think it's a lot better because the viewing screen is bigger. Like it wasn't so easy with the GoPro to try to. Oh, to, he, to watch record everything and figure it out and be like. I don't get all vloggers can do that, but they probably just know where their GoPro is. They've probably done it long enough. They haven't. They've like memorized the GoPro space in this way. They know exactly what they're getting in the shot. Like my wood. It's short, but it does the job. Calm down, lift. Right, let's see what we're 
just there. It's not happy. All right. All right. Now we got the mount out. If you got to lose motor mount, now would be the time to change it, but that one's good. Honestly, that mount never goes bad. It's usually the one up front, which this one's new because I already replaced this one. All right, now we got three 13 millimeter bolts way back in the, way back in there. That's what holds the bracket to the transfer case. If you guys can see that at all, let me do. I'm bringing some technology called light. Well, I had some zoom on there. And I, yeah, you can oh. see it. All right. On. Hi. Two. All right. There we go. She was stuck. Three. Now, there is a 13 millimeter bolt right here below the power steering pump, and then there's a 15 on that side and two 15s down here at the bottom. Probably going to be incredibly hard to film if we need to get them at all. All right, top two are out. Now, Try to get a long socket. Yep. Grab a long socket. All right, now that bracket should be free. Should be able to a sneaker out here. Whammo. Oh, my hands are all nasty. All right, now all we have left is there's two 18s here. There's three 18s up top. That's what holds the transfer case to the transmission. Um, it's gonna be up. It's gonna be up to you when you pull the transfer case. Transfer is gonna pour out of the trans. You can either put a bucket and catch it that way, or this is your drain plug. Um, you'll need like eight quarts to top it back off. So I think while I'm getting these, I think I'm going to go and pull that and just drain it. Yeah, I've already made a big enough mess today, but in the last few days. Wow, that's not what I expected. Romulus fluid is blacker than black and smells like shit. <laughs> not without a knot. See my flashlight there, that way you guys can see. That way I can see, we all can see.
She's tight. Can't see it. Am I even close to it? Yeah, there we go. At least I hope that's it. Maybe a dick move to put a bunch of bolts the same size in the area that weren't related. Yeah. But we're also talking about engineers. Yeah. F engineers. I think that's YouTube safe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. There we go. Give me a long magnet. Uno. Dos. On the floor. Trace. You're still gonna lose some fluid, but. I'll take care of it. I would take fill plugs out when I'm draining because it just helps them drain easier. Makes you like a buffet KFC. Oh yeah, there we go. Not a lot of stuff on it, not bad. All right, now make sure you get your big boy britches on or a jack. These really aren't that heavy. They're more awkward than anything. There she goes. And let's get you out of the way. Now we're gonna get inside of it. Never done this before. Um, always replace this seal. As you can see, it's pretty flat. That's the one that keeps transfluid inside the transmission. All right. All right. Now we're gonna go inside. I've never been inside one of these, but we're just gonna go with it. Bunch of tens all the way around. I'm hoping we don't have to take that out. I don't think so by the component view, but that should be all of that 
them. Let's put these somewhere relatively safe. Um, all right. So hopefully, that looks like we have a little bit split already. Yeah. Made my butt all puckered. I mean, I have an extra bell housing in storage, but. Just like a, uh, doesn't like when you put a transmission and there's like a alignment pin. There we go. Huh. All right. Set that aside. That's not what we're going after. Got a new one of those. shaft goes out that way, I think. Oh, yeah, there's a snap ring in there. Okay. What does the manual say? Um, <laughs> the manual doesn't tell you. It's out. It's out. Don't worry. It's out. 
shaft. That's on. I'm pretty sure the seal we need to replace is right in there. Go grab the new one and see what it looks like. This is the one that goes on the piece that goes into the transmission. This I thought was the wrong seal because it looked like three round seals, but it's actually that one. Yep, the big case seal. What freaking seal is this? Well, didn't you take one off of the is that a little one? Nope, it was right here. Oh, okay. Yep, there's the green. Do you need any medium strength thread lock for this job? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm hoping I can get I better get it out from this way. Maybe. I'll do it gingerly. It's not pressed in there very hard, which I guess is good. So now, go be a basketball player. Now your camera guy's gonna pass out. See how hard this one's in there.
popped her right on out there. Just right on out. Yep, exactly. <laughs> With the spring. It's new sound effects when that pops out. <laughs> I need to pay for like some kind of SoundCloud thing or something that I can have access to music and sounds and stuff. Take the green seal. Would you look at it? <laughs> so, I should be able to just do something about my candy. Thank you. All right. I should have thought I'd be murdering it by right now. <laughs> so hey YouTube, I did it wrong. Take the big snap ring out and the bearing and the axle and everything will come out from the outside, not the other way around. But anyways, we'll find something to press this on and then we'll keep you on. Pause. All right, now we got that stuff back together. Um, fixed. I'm not going to show you how I put it on because you guys freak out, but it's on there. It's still real smooth. So we can put this in after the transfer case is together. So we got the new sealant already. I'll just gingerly put this back on. that to get all the bearings and races lined up stay hey it listen better than my dog does it's kind of finger start most of these and then we'll stand it up again so everything is seated and then I'm down. Good. 
spin this, you can see that this spins. We're good there. Now we'll take this one. Put the shaft in the hole. Like that. And we'll clean off the big snap ring. All right, we're gonna find some more cuts in my hand. I at least have one on my index finger. It's starting to talk to me now. Well, for instance, I have one on my index finger also. Mine's not as bad as yours, though. I was watching going, hey, quit being a little bitch. Oh, can I say that? I don't say why not. Okay. I've watched some YouTube videos. I still want to be. Dude, as vulgar as can be, and I'm just like, what the heck? All right. So, my cheap snap ring pliers won't get all the way in there, but I hope I can. I got it started. Maybe I can tap it in. Real, real light like. Would you just look at it? It's like I might have actually known how to do something. That spins real nice. That spins real nice. Heck yeah. Do all that and you don't have to buy a transfer case. Save to do some monies. Somebody's gonna comment. Every time I put this vice in a video, somebody comments. Why is it not bolted down? You need to bolt your vice down. All right, I got the little pointless seal in. I don't really know what the purpose is. I think it's just to keep corrosion from getting on the spine so you can get the axle shaft apart. Get the axle shaft off of it. Somebody smarter than me, comment down what's the purpose of that o ring. Yeah. Get the people to actually know what they're doing involved. You mother. I hate these snap rings. Or retaining rings or whatever. Whatever Satan called them when he made them. All right, now at this point, we're ready to put her back in the vehicle. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. I lied. We have a massive transmission leak. What kind of freaking packaging job did GM do here? There we go. It just slides on. Like so. Probably should put a little bit of a little bit of lube on it so it slides together. Like so. Line up the long shaft. Then line up the Short stubby shaft. There we go. Alright. Can we get this? Got this little from the from the El China. This little air assist fluid fill deal. Gotta move this over. So as you saw from inside of it, there's there's no like clutch packs or nothing, so you're literally just gonna fill it up until it comes out of the, the drain plug or out of the fill plug.
So look at all these zip ties in this clamp. I was filling a trans and it literally shot off and flew just like launched like old faithful. It's pretty epic. The nice thing about this machine is if it starts coming out, I can just stop everything, get, a, get one of the jugs and just put, some, put the fluid back in it. Save it for the next one. It's like watching paint dry. It's a time lapse part of the video. Or, or grass grow. You're watching something very boring. You need to get the rights to like a Benny Hill type music so you can time off this and be like. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Shut the old valve off. Got my wrench, tighten that up. All right, now we're gonna put the trans fluid in it. We got our lower down to the ground. Your fill plug slash dipstick. It's right there, we'll take that out. Put a long funnel in. And then this particular vehicle gets Dextron 6 trans fluid. I prefer to try to stick with OE for trans fluid if at all possible. But the spec for this, if you just pull the drain plug, is 4.5 to 6.5 quarts. There's obviously variants. So we're going to put 5 in it. We'll start it, check it. If we need to add a little bit, we'll add a little bit. Just a touch of pump full, which is okay. All right, now we'll lift her back up and uh, I hear an exhaust leak, we'll see what that is. And make sure we have no leaks underneath. Turn the sun on. Yeah, all right. 
All right, so we got an exhaust leak here. Um, like I was telling Luke, this isn't the actual gasket for this. The other gasket's a little thicker and it's like a paper metal. Um, I have a slight leak at the top I can hear. So I'm gonna take this back apart and make sure I got it all cleaned off. I might have to order the correct gasket and reseal it. I might even, I mean this thing is super rusty right here. I might have to put a little bit of that red exhaust, uh, exhaust RTV on it to fill any micro voids. Um, so we're gonna take it apart and take a look at it. Like Luke was saying, I could easily just not put this in there, just fix it. And you guys wouldn't know the wiser, but where's the fun in that? Been doing this for years and stuff still doesn't go the way I want them to somehow. That's so hot. Okay. I have my flashlight so I can see. That thing helps them see, but I can see. All I can see is the spots in my eyes. No new leaks, that's good. Uh, da -da 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 -da. No, oh, there's still some gasket there. Oh, there's a lot of gasket there. Wow, amateur hour. Amateur hour. So I'm doing the check, you just run your hand along the seam and I feel no exhaust, so that's fixed. So all we're hearing is uh, the normal exhaust sound out of the tailpipe. So we'll go ahead and clean the rest of this up a little better. Try a couple more cans of brake clean. Um, other than that, I hope this video is helpful.